Hello, hello. It's Wednesday, my dude. And you know what that means? It's news time. At some point over the last few weeks, the Gravity Group formally announced that they have a new type of track. They called it engineered pre-cut track, which is a fancy way of saying that the wooden track is pre-cut at their facility using CNC machinery before being assembled on site. Traditional wooden roller coasters are built completely on site with wood being cut to size there and then. Gravity Group say that their new track is up to 30 times stronger than traditional track because it's cut to the exact shape required by the ride's design. They also say that the future of wooden roller coasters is in fact wood, which seems to be taking a shot at both GCI's new Titan steel track and RMC's popular steel iBox track. Nevertheless, the idea of using pre-cut track pieces for wooden roller coasters isn't actually new. Intamin came up with that idea two decades ago and hasn't built many since, so let's hope that the Gravity Group has more success with the idea this time around. Disney are planning to open things in 2022 and it's as vague as that, what an amazing headline. In previous episodes, we've gone on about Epcot's new Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind coaster and Walt Disney World's new Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser themed hotel, terrible names. <laughs> While the hotel will open on the 1st of March 2022, while the Guardians coaster is opening sometime in 2022, which is an incredibly useful opening date. Though, April 2022 is currently floating around, so uh, the earlier the better at this point though, honestly. Last week saw the 2021 IAPA Expo Europe, where lots of different theme park related companies came together to show off their latest products to the rest of the theme park industry. Apparently, over at the SNS stand, they confirmed that their new model, the Axis Coaster, would make its initial debut somewhere in Europe. The Axis Coaster features free spinning trains which allows guests to rotate along the same axis as the track like they would during a barrel roll for example. In that respect, the Axis Coaster is completely unique, so it isn't surprising that one theme park would be looking to grab the world's first. This source isn't exactly official, so don't place any bets on this piece of news. At IAPA, we also heard of a brand new theme park development happening over in Peru. Inca Park, Latin America's first world-class theme park, is set to be an immersive new park inspired by Inca history and culture. Opening in 2025, the theme park will be part of a greater resort complex featuring a water park, golf course, accommodation, and even the Eden Project. The entire resort plans to be sustainable to the point of following the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, which honestly is an incredibly impressive commitment. But what about the ride, Harry, I hear you ask? Currently nothing is set in stone, however concept art of the theme park suggests a whole range of attractions including a drop tower, spinning coaster, water coaster, wooden coaster and much more. Obviously concept art is just that, conceptual, so don't expect these specific rides to appear with the park in 2025, but nevertheless, how awesome is that? In the last episode of Dispatch, we heard that attendance figures for theme parks in 2020 were low. Like, stupidly low. <laughs> the pandemic has put a lot of pressure financially on theme parks, who at the moment are hoping guest numbers return to pre-COVID levels. Fortunately for Universal Studios, that's exactly what's happening. The CEO of Universal's parent company, Comcast, said that the return of international visitors, as well as pent-up demand, is putting Universal theme parks back on track. This news is especially good for Universal, who currently have a lot at stake. They recently opened Universal Studios Beijing, a new flagship theme park in China at the cost of 3.3 million US dollars. Whilst in America, they're pushing ahead with Universal's Epic Universe, a third theme park for Universal's Floridian Resort complex thing. So, it isn't all doom and gloom in 2021, unfortunately, just uh, mostly doom and gloom. And there you go, you now know all the juicy and interesting news from the last week. Why not have a friendly discussion in the comments below about which theme park you think might get the SNS Axis coaster and why that park is Thought Park, because <laughs> damn, they really need a new cred. <laughs>